Cricut Design Space now has the convert to layer feature on desktop. So you no longer have to just use it on the app, you can use it on the desktop. And I love using the desktop for all my Cricut projects. So we're gonna check that out today. If you have not used the convert to layer feature yet, basically what it is, is you take a single layer image, you can take a PNG or a JPEG file, and then turn that into multiple layers so that you can use that for your crafting project. If we're just meeting right now, hi, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Let's go check it out. Open up Design Space and we're gonna start a new project and then go over to Upload. And then like usual, we're gonna click on Upload Image. And then I'm gonna drag and drop a clip art image that I saved. I actually got this image off of Canva, so we're gonna test this one out and then click on Continue. So you can see here, we have a white background behind this bee that we want to get rid of. So we're gonna click on Remove Background. And now that background is gone, so let's click on apply and continue. Now, just a few days ago, we only had two options on this page and now we have three. So before we could save it as a single layer cut file or a flat graphic, and the flat graphics were for print and cut, so this is not a layered image. But now we have a third option over here at the beginning that says multiple layers, and that's what we're gonna test out today. Keep in mind that this is still in the beta version. So Cricut's still working out some of the kinks and glitches for this. So if you do encounter any of those, be patient and hopefully those will be worked out soon. You also do need a Cricut Access subscription in order to use the multiple layer feature. So we have multiple layers selected. So let's click on continue and then click on check it out. And here you'll see our B looks a little different than our uploaded file. Let me show you what the original looked like. So here is the original Bumblebee that I uploaded. And now you can see here we only have two colors, but that's okay. So if you go under layers here, we can change how many layers we want. So let's click on that drop down menu and you can go all the way up to nine different layers. So let's click on nine. And now instead of having a two layered image, we have a nine layered image. And you can see all these layers up at the top here. So if I click on this button here, you can see all those layers at once, or if you want to see them one at a time, you can click each tab up here, which is kind of cool. Now this is a lot of layers. I'm not sure why you'd want to layer nine layers like this. It's a little excessive. So we can bring that down. Maybe you want to do four layers. So here are the four different layers of our bumblebee. And if we click on that first image there, you can see the four different layers. One thing that I did notice here is my original picture, let's bring that up again. This bee has two separate wings that are two separate blue colors, but Design Space is only picking up one blue and it doesn't matter how many layers here I pick, it's not picking up that second blue color. So one thing to keep in mind when you're uploading images, if there's not a big distinction in your colors, Design Space may just think that's one color. So the color sensitivity is not super sensitive, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. Maybe that will change as they continue to work on this new feature. So right now, if you look under output style, we have a stacked option and a slice option. So stacked is what it sounds like. Basically all your layers stack on top of each other. And often I don't want all my layers stacked on top of each other because it becomes quite a bulky image. So you may want to choose sliced instead. So what that does is basically make your image like a puzzle. Now you have to put all these pieces together separately. Now, my preference is a combination of the two. Now, this is not an option on Design Space, so you kind of have to do this yourself. I prefer a base layer so you see the whole image, and then all the layers on top of that, I prefer sliced. So right now, we have all our layers separate, and if we go back to stacked, we have this one solid background layer. So I think it would be cool if we could have an option where we could just choose that background layer, then all the layers on top are sliced. So in order to do that, you would probably have to upload your image twice. 
So what you could do is go to layers and just choose one layer and you could save your be like this and then you could upload your design again and then save your four layers as slice layers so then you can stack them all on top of the one base layer. So let's try save it like this. I'm just gonna save the one layer here and then click on continue. And you can give your image a name and add some tags like usual and then click on upload. So here's the base layer of our B that we just uploaded. So let's go and upload that B again. So let's click on upload, upload image. We're gonna drag and drop that B back over here. Click on continue. We're gonna remove that background and then click on apply and continue. Let's try those multiple layers again. And look, I encountered a glitch, something went wrong. I've actually been having trouble with this over the last day. They just released this a few days ago. So there are some glitches. I find when I go to upload another image, I have to completely exit out of design space before I can do that. So I'm gonna shut this down and reopen it again. So I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna exit out of my project here and I'm gonna reopen design space and start a new project. All right, let's go back over to uploads and you can see my recent upload. I still got that background on my B here, but let's upload that B again. So upload images. We're gonna drag and drop that B. Continue, remove the background. Apply and continue, and we're back to our options again. So let's select our multiple layers and press continue and click on check it out. So now we're back to our original. So this time we're going to do the output style as sliced and we're going to change our layers from two to four layers and then click on continue. And again, go ahead and name your image and then click upload. All right, so here is our uploaded B. It looks like it's all one layer here, but it's not. We need to go above the layers panel and click on ungroup. And then you'll be able to see each of those layers in the layer panel. Now let's go back over to upload and we're gonna grab that first B that we uploaded with just the one layer and add that to our canvas. So now we need to make this B the same size as this B. So if we select all these layers here, we can see that the width of this B is 4.407. So I'm gonna make this B here 4.407. All right, now they are the same size. So now we have this background layer here and we have each of our sliced layers. So what you could do, you don't even have to use this wing piece. We can make this background here if we make that blue and then we can layer on each of our sliced layers. Now this is going behind. So let's rearrange our layers here in the layer panel. So our base layer here is on top. Let's pull that down to the bottom and then we can stack our sliced layers on top. And so now, even though we have four different layers, we're not building up four different layers of vinyl, if that's what we're using, maybe you're using cardstock, and it's not gonna look as bumpy or frumpy. You've got solid background and then just one other layer on top. And this makes a lot more sense to me. So you could go ahead and cut this out, maybe add it to a card or make your vinyl decal or do whatever you want to it. So now let's test out this new feature, but this time I want to upload a photo. So I'm gonna exit out of design space again so I don't get that error message and we're gonna do a new upload. All right, so I have a blank canvas here. Let's go to upload. Click on upload image. And this time I'm gonna drag and drop a picture here of a cow. Why am I uploading a cow? I have no idea. I just thought it would be fun. And again, this is not my own picture. I just grabbed this picture from Canva. So let's click on continue. And it's up to you if you want to remove the background or not. If you were making something like a layered shadow box, you'd probably wanna keep the background, but if you were making a decal or something, you probably don't. So for today, let's just remove the background. And this is kind of funny. It looks like there's a little cow coming out of the big cow's butt. All right, let's get rid of that. So let's grab our eraser here. And I'm just gonna erase that cow there cause that looks really kind of funny. You can zoom in if you need to and erase those extra lines. And I've got something here going underneath my cow's mouth that I wanna get rid of too. And it looks like Design Space removed a piece right inside the cow here that is now transparent. So let's restore that. I'm gonna click on restore 
and get that piece back. All right, that's looking much better. So I'm gonna click apply and continue. We're gonna select multiple layers and press continue. And this is actually looking pretty good. I like this cow, it's only two layers. It looks pretty good though. So under uploaded image, it says we have clip art selected, but we uploaded a photo. So I'm gonna change that to photo and see if it does anything for us. So that automatically changed my layer count to nine different layers. And it looks like it gave the cow a little more detail. So you could keep it like this if you wanted, or you could change it up. So if you wanna look at all those layers, here they are. Now that is a lot of layers to stack. It could be a fun project though. But once again, you don't have to do that many layers. So let's go back down to four layers. That looks pretty good. Let's see it all together here. I actually kind of like the two layers at the beginning that it showed us. So let's go back to the two layers and let's compare the two layer photo to the two layer clip art and see the difference here. Not, not a whole lot of difference. So I don't really think it matters too much which one you choose. But one thing I do wanna show you is underneath the advanced options. So if you're not really liking your design too much and maybe you have a lot of jagged lines on your design, you could smooth those out. So under smooth, we could click on high and that actually kind of took away some of the detail of the cow I found. So I'm not sure I like that on this image, but some images it actually works really well for, especially if you want to upload a handwriting, using the smooth feature works really well. Another thing you can do is reduce noise, which means it just reduces those little speckles or fine lines that you get within your image. And you can also simplify your image. So let's turn these up to high and just look at the difference. So I have smooth, reduce noise, and simplify all turned to high, and you can see how simple it made my image. So in this case, you may wanna add a few more layers, but I actually liked for this particular image with not having any of those settings on. So I'm gonna turn them all off again. And I like the look of that much better. I just feel there's more detail, but it's still not too overwhelming. Now, if you had a photo with piles of detail, you may want to use some of those features. I'm gonna leave my cow like this and click on continue. I'm gonna call this image cow and click on upload. All right, and we can ungroup those layers so you can see them. There's our two layers of our cow. And I think that looks great. I actually really like this cow. Now, if you want to learn how to do this using the Cricut app, I do have a video on that. So go check that out right here. And I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.